Oh, wait a second. Ah, there we go. Now we're recording. Hello, welcome. And uh, it's Wednesday. Uh, I don't want to say that's hump day because I just got trashed on Twitter for saying that, but it's middle of the week. We Like we say in German, Mittwoch, week middle. Uh, and as usual, I am still Warren and... I'm still Bridget. I'm in San Antonio, Texas, and you're where? I'm still in Bremen. Uh, and Although you might be uh, doing this podcast from Bavaria, no? I will be in a couple of weeks. Uh, okay. I will be in Munich. And On location. In the beer garden with Jörg and uh, maybe even uh, Annabelle. Maybe we get all of our Munich uh, guests uh, in a uh, remembrance, uh, whatever you call it, remembrance <laughs> video. Nostalgia. <laughs> Nostalgia video. Anyway, we are ignoring our very special guest uh, this week. And this is uh, Nathan, who is uh, famous or nearly famous for his amazing app, Chipmunk. Uh, well, amazing, uh, uh, known for the soon-to-be app, Chipmunk. Uh, it's still in development, and uh, yeah. Hi, cool. <laughs> I'm glad. Thank I'm glad you. to be here. It's cool. It's like the first time I'm doing something like this. So uh, yeah, we'll see how this goes. It's Yay! great. Yay! One of them. <laughs> We're also marking a first because uh, so we have like best quality issues. I know that you are on the yeah. road. Today. And uh, no, I see uh, actually, show. yeah, I have, I have uh, network issues. Yeah. Yeah. So we've so. got you um, in the Bitmoji form. And, yeah, right. Uh, which well, people great. recognize me from this image. It's my Twitter avatar and people exactly. know me from Twitter. So exactly. Yeah. So uh, yeah, there you go. Um, and I mean, from, you know, we had the idea of talking together um, again. You know, we connected on Twitter like we usually do, and we were chatting about SEO. And um, yeah, we thought that we would talk about SEO. I mean, uh, Bridget and I are always talking small business. We're talking nonprofits. We're always talking the little guy. And there really isn't anything smaller uh, than a chipmunk. So <laughs> this is perfect. I yeah, it is right. Hamsters, uh, I guess. Yeah. Well, the, the, the thing is, uh, I guess a lot of indie makers uh, that are on Twitter probably haven't that much experience in terms of SEO. And uh, I myself, I was working in a marketing agency uh, like four years ago and I had to touch some points of it. But since then, I'm completely out of the game. And obviously, uh, after the, la the launch of Chipmunk, I have to do a lot of SEO and SEA and all of that stuff. So uh, yeah, it would be great to uh, freshen up my knowledge. This is great, super. Can I uh, can I uh, evangelize for Twitter then? <laughs> sure. Uh, one of the things, and I just thought about this last night too, uh, to a meetup is on, people forget that Twitter is a huge part of an overall SEO. I think Warren would refer yeah. to it as off page. SEO. I would. Twitter. Uh, because each individual tweet is indexed by Google. So when you right, put right. somebody's name or a topic, it'll right. come down. And actually, like for me, I'll have my Google My Business page, my website, and then yeah. a carousel of tweets. Right, right. I, I noticed that. Yeah. The carousel of the tweets. That's, that's something that uh, Google recently introduced, right? It's pretty, it for a it's, few it's pretty years. recent. Yeah, or, but I mean, really? Google and Twitter have been working together for a while, but yeah. the carousel of tweets is recent enough. I didn't notice yeah. it until Lunar New Year. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's true. So that's why I always tell my clients to double down on your website, yeah. publishing content on a regular basis, YouTube, and putting in captioning files that are also indexed by Google and Twitter, like if you only have three things to yeah. market your product or service, that's it. That's where I would go first. That sounds amazing. I really, I really didn't, didn't consider uh, YouTube captions to be that essential. Yeah. And then, uh, so I use a service called Temi, and then I dump most of that um, 
transcript also in the yeah. YouTube description. And then yeah. when you write a blog post about it, like when I interviewed Rand Fishkin, uh, formerly of Moz, now SparkToro.com, uh, I put in a summary of our chat and then the link to the video and I dumped the full transcript at the bottom. That's a lot of words. Yeah, that, that's one true. I did, uh, was actually for the last conversation I had with Scott of up content, it was 7,000 words. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's something. Well, some people don't want to watch the video. Some people want to read it. So it took me a while to, to fix the transcription errors, but it was completely worth it. So for the indie maker market, um, you're doing tutorials and things like that. You want all those words because those words help uh, especially if you're uh, one of the things um, that some of my friends do is they go on Quora and they answer questions and I've started doing that as well but in the indie maker market they go on stack overflow and then they answer the questions and put them on their own YouTube channel see a lot of people in the indie maker market are all about loom and they love loom I don't care what you use to record the video but that video needs to live on the second largest search engine, which is YouTube, mm. right? Yeah. And, and, and yeah. I struggle with this because other, because I work with developers, the other developers, they either love Loom or they love Wistia or they love, um, I, I was gonna say Venmo, but that's not it. You know, Vimeo, Vimeo. Uh, but the thing is they're not YouTube. No, that's true, that's true. Well, YouTube is Google, so I mean, you know. I mean, it's it's kind of obvious, but I, I never thought about it. Yeah, honestly, but well, that's why like, we're having this conversation. Yeah, right, right. You um, know, here, here I am on Google, and I'm seeing I'm seeing uh, Instagram, I'm seeing Chipmunk on Instagram. Yeah, right. And, but uh, I, I really, hey, I really, I rarely uh, post yeah, anything on there, right? There you go. I mean, I know you're usually here. I mean, this yeah. is where we're usually in. I mean, that. even even the Chipmunk. Twitter account, I don't regularly post on. I just do it on my on my private account, mm -hmm. and uh, I know that I should focus more on the brand account as well. You should um, brand first. Uh, I I think the development side of things I keep on my private account, and then when the app finally is released, then I will put like the real marketing stuff on there, like. I plan on releasing a lot of recipes that will be bundled with the app. And uh, well, I one thing I, I had in mind for my marketing strategy, like air quotes, um, was like going on TikTok actually and uh, making really short recipe preparation uh, videos <laughs> for TikTok. And uh, yeah, maybe I could do that in a longer form for YouTube as well. Right, because YouTube has shorts now. Oh, right, they do. Right. So I don't care what you do on TikTok, but that doesn't live on forever. Yeah, so that's like, right. When you're prioritizing right. how you spend your time and your marketing budget, uh, in the book that I am not uh, ashamed to talk about, <laughs> it's how to market your plugin. Uh, yeah. It has a three three year framework in the back and all the things. So TikTok, Instagram, that's fine. But yeah. they're extra. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They're dessert. Right. They're dessert. After you ate your dinner, <laughs> after you do all your chores, you know, uh, yeah. because they're because they are extra now. Reaching retail people with your app—that's a great way to do it with TikTok. Yeah. So you're gonna, but um, you're gonna want to make sure that you have the infrastructure that will help them find you when they forgot sure. how it's spelt. <laughs> Yeah, right. Right, because right. we're gonna go chipmunk app. Yeah, we're gonna type probably. chipmunk app. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Right, and they're right. gonna, and then they're gonna be like, oh no, there's no vowels, so it's dot com. No, it's no, not it's not. Com. It's, it's, it's currently e. de. Yeah. Right. Uh, so I plan on using a dot app uh, in the future, but for now it's dot de. Yeah. Right. So, but you got to remember that when you're doing something where right. people aren't able to click. Yeah. On TikTok, they can't click. They have to go back to your bio yeah. i literally just did a marketing consultation with somebody who uh built up his entire uh, tiktok strategy uh and then it didn't link to patreon from there and he has thirty thousand. oh because it wow. didn't occur to him 
and he didn't want to ask for money. But if you're going to do that, then you have to make the link, that one link, not yep. link tree or any of that. Make it the one thing you really want them to go to so that you're not wasting time and frustrating users. Because when uh, what happened was I did click on his link tree and guess what happened? It wasn't secure. I screenshotted that oh. and sent it to him, right? So then I bounced because I already have enough. Yeah, of course. On TikTok, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but... You can do a really quick, uh, one of the things I like to do, and I know Warren does this too, is I'll do something really quick with like my ring light, you know, and I put my camera here and then I'll go blah, 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 throw that on YouTube. And then on Instagram, which is me instead of TikTok, I mean, I have TikTok, but I just sing duets with people. Yeah. But, um, but on Instagram, then I'll do something just for them. So then you could do your TikTok, you know? Right, you, so it's just- You still it's, want to keep that pace going on yeah. YouTube because all of those videos can be used later for blog content, right? So True. we did this yeah. with my real estate client. He, we, I gave him all these ideas, how to sell a home, how to buy a home, you know, how to move with a dog, how to you know, look for an office, whatever. There's 30 videos, right? And then now- a year later, we shifted budget away from Facebook, and I am I am taking those transcripts and making them into blog posts. He's putting on his website. Mm. With yeah, that's, that's great. Yeah, yeah. Right. So you want you when you're doing your own marketing, you want to think about how can I uh, reduce, reuse, repurpose. Almost like yeah, of course, of course, yeah, yeah. So. Um... I was I was looking at your uh, I was looking at the uh, the app website because yeah. um, it kind of fits in well with you know the sorts of things I like I mean I use um, Yumly um, and I, I like that it's got you know the pantry shopping list yeah. and recipe connection um, I am though pretty fickle when it comes to my shopping habits like sometimes I'll use a piece of paper um, I usually take pictures. Of the oh, interesting. Flyers that come every week. If I see things in the flyer, I used to, you know, tear it out or write a note. And now I just take yeah. a picture of the item in the flyer. Um, and you know, um, a lot of people do that. Uh, my friend Rhonda does that too. She takes pictures. Because really? She's a visual person. She wants to make sure she gets the right item. Yeah. That, that's interesting. I, it's as well because, I mean, what I've learned in Germany, and I don't know if you've learned the same thing in Germany, is that um, the prices in the flyer um, are things that attract you and send you to the store. Yeah. Then you yeah. get to the store and you go to the item, but the price is not the same as in the flyer. And you're thinking, have they not changed it yet? Did I read the wrong thing? So I like also having the photograph. I say, here is a photograph of your flyer. Um, and, and that also helps. So I also do that because I've, I've been burnt a few times. Um, but what, where I'm you know, trying to get to in a very roundabout way is, um, so you, you come up with this app, um, yep. but like, I'm curious, like, why? Like, the, what problem um, do you see out there um, where you thought this app is really going to be um, good for people? Well, uh... The problem I try to solve is uh, first and foremost my own problem, right? I moved in with my girlfriend uh, last year. Congrats. And uh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> and uh, we uh, wanted to share a shopping list together. So uh, that, uh, you know, not everyone is, is, sometimes you just go to the store and, you know, you can grab something uh, uh, and, and remove it from the list. And, uh, yeah, I, I search for apps and uh, like the most common thing I know is Bring. Mm -hmm. And I really, I don't like the UI. Um, I don't like how it works. And then um, the, the next problem is uh, you don't have the possibility to track what's already in your pantry. Bring doesn't have that. Inventory control. Oh my God, that's exactly. amazing! Exactly, and then I need again, that for my closet. And and, and then <laughs> and then again, uh, normally what I do is I plan my meals for the week ahead. Like 
on Saturday, I sit down and plan what I'm going to eat on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and so on. And uh, I'm currently using three apps to achieve that. Oh. I, have, I have an app where I have the recipes. I have an app where I track my shopping list. And I have an app where I write a to-do list to remember when I want to cook like dish X. And uh, that's annoying. And also on top of that, you know, I don't always keep track in my head what I have at home and I forget to look before I go to the store. Right. So I end up uh, buying stuff twice or four times, even, even four times. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> or I just forget to write an, a, a key ingredient from a recipe. I forgot to write it on the shopping list. Oh, and then that's the so day, neat. the day I want to prepare the dish, I like, Where's the fucking spinach? Right. Where's the where's the cheese? No, I can't well, prepare. No, no, I can't, no, I can't prepare the whole dish. And in the end, this may even lead to food waste. Yeah. So right. uh, has happened like a million times to me. <laughs> and I, I, I was looking for apps that uh, solve that problem. And there is there are none oh that my tackle God. all of it. So hard. And even if there is an app to keep track of your pantry, it's really really hard to uh, make like the the initial you know the, the initial entries yeah what you have right. at home so and i want to to make a more convenient uh, Are uh we scanning for barcodes? That. yeah sometimes that works but the apps i found only work for the american market and not for the yeah. european yeah no i'm asking about chipmunk yeah, I, I will include that in Chipmunk. Yes. Oh my Barcodes God. Barcodes okay. will be scannable. Um, so not, not in the initial version. It will be added in a later version I because need that it's, it's difficult. But what we try to achieve in the end is either you just uh, take a picture of the recipe, uh, the, the receipt from the store, and it matches the items and automatically adds them to the store. Or, I mean, if you wrote the shopping list, in Chipmunk, and you just say you you click on the item, it automatically automatically gets put on your pet virtual pantry, um, and even later in the game, the plan is that we detect like something that's not food related or something like that. Like we detect you usually write toilet paper like every two weeks onto your shopping list. We will then go ahead and recommend like we notice you normally write every two weeks. You you go. Uh, toilet paper shopping and you haven't done that like in 16 days now should we add it to your shopping list mm -hmm. right i love this so much and then, okay listen and then uh i have to yeah. tell you though i have to interrupt you 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 must have a landing page with a, a subscribe button and uh because this is the most amazing thing i I've, I've heard it's been a long time <laughs> Yeah. Seriously, that actually solves a legitimate issue uh, for on all I, those I'm glad I'm glad to hear that. You know, it, it will like, it will take a long time until we, we have finally reached okay, that point where okay. the app does all that, but but you know. still you you really you really like I I'm not this wait until you build it and then market it person. Yeah. I'm a market while you build. You want to yeah. build in public? I want yeah, you yeah, to market yeah, yeah. I want you to market that. So <laughs> The make sure that you have a you know a landing page where people can yeah. subscribe to be on your mailing list. Yeah, that's 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 what we already have. Okay, that's, good. That's totally possible. That I have I actually uh, I actually shipment. sent out the first newsletter like a week ago. Yes. To like I don't know forty subscribers. It's not that much, but it's something. Well, um, no, but you have to. This is why the tw Twitter account needs to have a little bit of love. Like yeah, just right. once a day. Once a day on the official chipmunk account. But and what, find three but people what, to reply to. But what, like what just, I have no idea what I could tweet on the brand account because I don't really oh. have content. You know, I have I tweet about the development stuff I'll on tell my you. private I'll tell account, you. you know? You have but, content. First of all, this is gonna be on YouTube. Yeah, of but course, secondly, of course. Are you super frustrated with your shopping experience? Yeah. Sign up to be on the list. Oh, all right, all right. Yeah. Are you? Are you? Do you know what's even in your pantry? Yeah. We have an app that's going to solve that. 
being built, but you don't want to miss it. You know, All right. I, mean, I, 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 I can, I'm uh, very, I'm very hesitant in doing that before the app is really ready. You know, only because also, of psychology. Yeah, probably. I even I didn't want to send out the first newsletter before the app is done. Yeah, my first issue of the newsletter was supposed to be here's a link you can download the app. You know, but uh, someone on Twitter told me like. I subscribed to your newsletter like three months ago. Uh, did I do something wrong? I'm worrying that I not, that it didn't work. And uh, yeah, I, I was like, no, I haven't sent any newsletter yet. But uh, yeah, I, I'll have to do that. Like I, I plan on doing it like once a month now, like a little update what we're working on. And yeah, yeah. that's good. So be you, Hmm? So you say I can just go ahead and and you have like content. tease I'm on, the, I'm on yeah. your web page right now. Nathan. There is some there is yeah, yeah there's some content. I already have a a better version of the uh, text for the for the landing page, uh, written uh, by a friend of mine who is working at a marketing agency. Uh -huh. I just haven't deployed it yet. Right. Well, I've, I've, matter, I've been sitting what? I've been sitting on that text for like three months already and haven't updated it yet. But. Here's the here's what's really cool about the internet, and I know Warren already knows what I'm going to say. <laughs> it's not print. That's right. Yeah, that's right. That's what's true. the worst thing that happens? Yeah. Put Nothing. it back to the Perfect. old copy. Yeah, that, that's right. <laughs> it doesn't matter. That's right. But here's the thing. But you do have content to tweet. Yeah, and, you're right. Uh, you're probably and right. And Warren, so Warren's a chef. And him and all of his chef friends would totally love this stuff. Yeah. Wouldn't you? Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, certainly definitely. <laughs> could you imagine uh, the pro version, Warren, with uh, people, uh, small restaurants using this for inventory it, control? That's actually what I'm planning on doing, yeah. I want that, that restaurants use the app and I plan on including like digital uh, menus also. So, you know, when you go to a restaurant and you want to order a, a certain item from the menu and then the waiter comes and tells you, sorry, we're out, we can't prepare that. Yeah, so if, if the restaurant was using Chipmunk, the app would know that the item can no longer be prepared because the app knows the inventory and the dish wouldn't even appear on the menu. And that's, unless, that's the plan. Unless the restaurant is, is similar to many of the restaurants I frequent and the menu that they have on yeah. their website is a PDF from three months ago that they have neglected to update. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, prob pro yeah, probably that's the problem that it is a PDF in the first place or yeah. that they have trouble updating it. Like, I don't know if they're using WordPress or whatever. It's probably for... I'd say for the normal restaurant owner, it's a bit too complicated. So I want to provide these options from the app. Well, it shouldn't no, be they can do it. ever. They can. It's not accessible. <laughs> yeah. It's not. Yeah. It should yeah. just that... be words. They, yeah. the, the restaurant industry needs to leave this concept of print. Yeah. And they want it to look a certain way. We just yeah. want to get, we all have to be on our phones now with the QR codes. Right, right. Get three inch, two inch screens. Yeah. Yeah. Try trying to read this stuff. I mean, how right. frustrated are you? Do you wear reading glasses, Warren? Me? Yeah. No. I mean, I have 20, 20 vision, but I'm 48. So when I'm tired, I have to wear reading glasses. I don't have those, you know, and you got a pinch and zoom and that's just annoying. It makes me not want to eat at that restaurant. I'm 57. <laughs> well, you have great eyes. That's good. That's good. You know, it's lucky. I'm, 20, a, I'm 26 and my I oh, said it's very, very yeah, bad. Six, very, I'm, very I'm bad. Twice the man you are. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I'm 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 so blind without my glasses. And even with my glasses, sometimes I have my phone very close to my eyes. So uh, yeah, it's a problem so, I'm facing as well. <laughs> going back to the SEO thing, I'm sorry I got a little yeah. excited about your the answers to your Warren's questions and dominated this entire conversation. It's as, fine. As, uh, because I feel like, oh my God, I want to help you. Um, Warren, I know we talk about this a lot, you and I, about content on the internet. It's a long game. I mean, can you talk about, like, I know that there is 
uh, like deep linking with apps and things like that? What are the SEO ramifications of, you know, in app search and things like that? What is, does that have anything to do with the rest of the world or? Well, I, I think when it comes to, um, you know, SEO for, you know, for, for, for you, Nate, um, I, I think there's, you know, there's two, you know, two aspects of this, which is, which is, which are really important. Um, the first is that, I mean, you know, people have this problem. People are going to, you know, people are going to want this app. Yeah. Okay. Um, and what they're going to do is they're going to want your app, but they're never going to have heard from you about you, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, if they have heard about you, they've heard about you from a friend or on social media or a friend on social media. Probably, and, yeah. You know, so that's really, I, I think for, for me, you know, the, the real starting block is, is really making sure that you are very available on, on social media. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and really, like, you know, this content can be, you know, once a day or a couple times a week or something. Mm -hmm. but exactly like throwing out these things like Bridget said um hey does this happen to you it won't soon you know yeah um so I think that's really really important because that's where people are um and you know if they're not on social media then they're probably going to be on um on Google or DuckDuckGo or you know this Ecosia this is a by a bio-friendly um, search machine in Germany. And for every search, they plant a tree. And every time you search something, yeah. it's a little tree with a number on it. This is a super guy. I've, I've, really I've, I've heard of trees? them. Yeah, totally amazing. Um, <laughs> anyway, sorry. Um, so if people haven't heard about you on social media, if they're not excited about you on social media, then they are on a search machine and what are they yeah. doing they're in the search machine trying to solve a problem and right. they're probably going to start typing in things like um shopping app includes pantry shopping app includes recipes these mm -hmm. sorts of problem searches yeah. yeah and then you know that's where you need to start popping up um, right I did a little test with uh, with my students. I, I'm in the middle of an SEO, two-week SEO class at the moment. And one of the questions, you know, the students asked it, you know, Warren, you're always talking about off-page SEO, off-page SEO. Well, SEO, that's my website. That's my keywords. You know, I said, okay, well, let's take a look at this, you know. And we went to Google and we looked for how many pages, you know, Google had indexed of the website that we were talking about right and it had indexed the site and there was about 200 um uh, results so it's like okay so google has 200 results about this website so this is super now let's google not the website let's google the person who this website is talking about so we just put in their name and there were over two hundred thousand. um uh, i'm sorry there were uh, 20 24,000 entries and it's wow. like those entries include the website now let's take those 200 uh website entries now there's still over 23,000 entries about this person and those entries that's your off-page seo that's everything wow. outside of the website that's right, just being on a podcast right right podcast, <laughs> the whole thing so you know people talking about things and Google indexing those things they're talking about is far and beyond um, uh, more important than just the website. And if you've only got five pages on your website, well, there's only five entries that Google can right. index. Yeah, right. So and that's why you can be writing now and publishing now. Sure. Yeah, you're right. Because they're not going to be right. untrue. People are still going to have pantry issues. Like, yeah. how do you organize your pantry? How do you, what are your meal planning tips? Right. And then right. they're because they're going to fall in love with your content, right? And then you're going to be like, hey, pretty soon this problem is going to be solved with our app. And, you know, you have to get over that shit. That <laughs> means I have to actually release this to the world and people are going to look at it yeah. and it might be weird. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, well, people might look at it and, and buy it. Yeah. And buy That's it, true. you know, That's true. and that, That's what's true. the worst that happens? 
the worst that happens is sitting in fear, right? Yeah, absolutely. And we're authors, authors so oh. we're like, we, we understand it, right? More like how terrifying is it to upload that manuscript to Amazon? <laughs> That's print, man. And then yeah, every like, time we both find errors in our books. Does it matter? No. We fix it for the next time. Yeah. Think of, think, of, uh, think of it, I guess, you know, uh, well, you're, you're an engineer. I'm not an engineer. Um, but, you know, the, the, the little I've read um, about things like um, DevOps and um, agile software development, et cetera, yeah. et cetera, this is really like, you know, black boxing aspects of everything. Right. Getting right. it out there and getting excitement and feedback and finding out what works, what doesn't work, and then moving to the next step um, and, and not just sort of, you know, waiting till it's done. And uh, I, I think, you know, if I was producing anything, well, I, okay, the things I do produce, I keep talking about it on social media and I write about it before it's done because when it is done, I want people, you know, knocking at the door going, I want this, I want this, is it ready? Yes, now it's right. ready. Right. Um, I'm tweeting about it right now, just so you know. <laughs> wow. I'm, gonna, That's I'm, cool. gonna, I'm just gonna be your worst um, nightmare oh, no. coach, lady. I'm <laughs> that, that's okay. We're talking with Nate here about his stuff that he doesn't want to talk about, and well, we're gonna talk about it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. That's the good. world needs this app. How long have you been working okay. on this, uh, Nate? I I started. Uh, well, the initially. The initial idea came like in May 2020. Okay. Oh. And then like almost immediately after I had the idea, I was talking to a coworker of mine about that idea. And he was like, I've been searching for something like this and I want in on this. I want to help create the app and make it a reality. And uh, I started like with a uh, web front end and was like, well, I can make a PWA out of it so it can work on a phone. And then I've had some health issues last year, so I stopped working on it. And I've had a lot of stress at work. So yeah, I, I ha haven't had it in focus. And on the beginning this year, I stumbled upon the 100 days of tech startup challenge on Twitter. And I thought that might be perfect for the app. And uh, I was certain that we could do it, but then again, life happened. We both work full-time jobs, my coworker and I. And uh, so it all takes longer than anticipated, but we're on the right track. And we hope in the next four to eight weeks, we can release an alpha version, you know, cool. without, without all that exciting automation stuff, unfortunately. And it will only be available as a web version and as an... Uh, APK file for Android users to download. Um, and also I'm still in the midst of uh, registering a company so that uh, the app can be released as under a company name right. in app stores, etc. And when all of this is done, we hope that by the end of the year, we can publish it to the app store and Google play. And then yeah. there will be an official version of it for everyone to download. Yeah, I would definitely publish a blog post twice a month until then. Get I, I, build I'll up those to, I'll try to, yeah. It doesn't yeah. have to, listen, you know, it doesn't have to be a in, white paper. We're talking about 300 right. words. Yeah, right. In, in terms of, in terms of uh, uh, external backlinks, I was thinking in collaborating with uh, recipe blog uh, owners and like reaching out to them and yeah. giving them a widget to implement on their site so people can just click on this widget and the recipe from that site will automatically get added to chipmunk yeah you think that can work yeah yeah as as a seo tactic as well if they get um a percentage you know those are all affiliate bloggers yeah probably i but i think you know um they are probably people who just live off ads, et cetera. And I, I yeah. think they, yeah, just just include the widget on the page. They don't lose uh, traffic. Right, it's uh, affiliate marketing. And uh, 
also yeah. I want to include some of the recipes inside of the app uh, by default and link to the blog yeah. from the app. That's what I plan on doing. Yeah. Yeah. There's some. Um, I mean, for you know, either you know, for both Android apps and the iOS apps. Yeah. Um, you know, there there is. Um, uh, there is uh, an app indexing API um, All right. for this that you know Google fully supports. Yeah. Um, you know, for the Facebook apps, they also have this. There's you know the the Twitter cards, Twitter app. Card, right, right, Twitter. right. Um, and I mean, this is really important. I mean, they've been talking about that for many years, um, and it's you know it's very very important for um, uh, for Google that this um, you know that this happens. Um, Android, I mean, I don't know anything about the iOS apps, but, you know, certainly Android apps, um, they can respond to, um, you know, to regular, you know, HTTP requests. Yeah. Um, so, uh, you know, definitely. So, I mean, this would be great then if you could, um, you know, if you were able then to, to link this out to, um, you know, to right. your, uh, a recipe blog and things like that would be very, yeah. very cool. Um, uh, what what I find interesting, and I, I don't know if this is you know able to come back at all, but you know, okay, you're way too young to remember this. You weren't even born, but <laughs> I was 26. No, like originally, um, uh, you know, Alta Vista and all yep. of these, you know, the great A days when there were like more than one uh, major uh, thing. You could then in real time submit your um, uh, website to to the search machine index. You know? Okay. Um, sort of can. Um, hey? You can you can with the search console. I always after yeah, I publish right. a blog post, I go to search console and I ask them to index it. Yeah, asking them to indexing it and doing it in real time because it's oh yeah yeah blog. okay yeah put it yeah maybe it happens but I mean this was the real time you actually see it then appearing in the index. Um, but um, you know. This would be an interesting way as well to sort of build this, um, you know, uh, this off-page SEO or the community building and things to to actually, you know, have some ability for people to be able to um, participate by, you know, submitting recipes um, and things like that. Um, that would be yeah. kind of cool, you know, yeah. very far in the future um, of of having people. Um, uh, participate in this um, yeah yeah that's, yeah it's kind of it's kind of a cool idea as well i yeah. think yeah so the confirmation like of, of subscribing is in german really yeah did you Vielen Dank. it was like mm -hmm. Vielen Dank. i was like mm -hmm. oh thank you very much i know that and where I, you, i i'm wondering I where you so where I subscribe. You on the, were you on the site where you saw the German copy or did you see the English copy? No, I, I've subscribed in English and then I got the email that says, please press this button to confirm. And yeah. when I pressed that button from the send in blue email, then it was yeah. like, Vielen Dank. And I was like, oh. Oh, so all right. That's probably out so of my control then. The, <laughs> what's, what happens is that... Um, the whole website is um, is in English, yeah. but the um, yeah. process is all in German. Um, so your um, the response from your from the website is coming back in German. Um, really, but is everything the... else is in English. Well, the email coming from Send in Blue was in English, right? Yes. Yes, but after you clicked on the confirm. I, I think that's out of my control. I don't know yeah, if it maybe. is, but I, 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 I've got no, to check that. I just that. thought I would tell you, like, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm so it's, used it's to like QAing I, websites and doing on the forums. I've, had, I've, yeah. had, I've had uh, people uh, from Germany telling me that uh, they received the English newsletter. So I was wondering why they, they ended up subscribing to the English newsletter. Maybe they did it by accident. Maybe it's a bug. I don't know. These are to fun check things that. To, to, I mean, you know, I just wanted, wanted to let you know, like. It's only because the, the interface language yeah. is, is correct, but the um, the processing language, the yeah. alerts, yeah. all the tech, that's still in German. Oh, all right. That's, which is probably 
fine, I guess. That I'm, happens every time Warren it happens invites a lot. me to one like of these I've events. Other websites yeah. as well. Or I invite him. It's like yeah. something, I don't know, I guess it means accepted because it's green and sometimes it's not. It's red, so I know he yeah. didn't accept the calendar invite because even though he's a native English speaker, all of his stuff on his computer is in German. So even though we communicate in English, it always comes back that way. This is good so, practice for you. Yeah. <laughs> It's so honestly, exciting. honestly, oh my for, gosh! For me, I, it's actually the other way around. I'm a native German speaker, and I've had have all of my devices set to English. <laughs> I just prefer it. Oh, there you go. <laughs> well, so, um, what are you doing uh, when it comes to um, like SEO? Are you do you have any favorite websites that you check out, or um, anything like that? Do you have an on, SEO fitness uh, regimen that you do every day? <laughs> A absolutely not. So I, oh. I haven't done anything. So I'm, I'm trying to build like my, uh, as you said, fitness uh, plan for my SEO. So I have, haven't done any research right now. And, uh, you know, I must admit, I hate marketing. <laughs> I hate it. So do I. And uh, I, I want as soon as I have a bit of money, I want to push all the marketing things to someone else because oh, I, I don't want to do that. We have a couple people. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> who, who is who, that? Who, who could help yeah. me with that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, so, this you is know, really and, good people somewhere. Yeah, right. Um, here, I've got Let's something for German. you, Nate. Um, this. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. They're yeah, brilliant. Yeah. And what I really I, love about it is all of their stuff is also in German. Oh, that's cool. All their research, all their blog posts, everything. Um, like, okay, some blog posts, they only have alternative language, like two or three. But all of the stuff that I've ever used from them, um, in my classes and everything, um, it always has at least English and German. And some have English, German, That's Russian, cool. or French thing, but this always That's seems cool. to be by default English and German. And yeah, but, they are uh, really great. Their domain authority checker, Warren, would be really great for oh, yeah. uh, Nathan when he's vetting these food blogs to include the recipes because you're going to want to include right. a recipe from a site with a good for domain sure. authority. Yeah. yeah, that would be this one here. But they've got so many free tools and they're very, um, very cool. And then, wee, boing, ow, that hurts. Um, and then <laughs> everything in German, where are the tools? Yeah, ooh. Right. Uh, no, oh, yeah, website book for taste checker. Ah, well, you can, you can, uh, <laughs> the Caputa links checker. <laughs> that's that's amazing. Yeah, check that out. I mean, that's a really will do. Great, Certainly uh, will do. Excellent. And um, yeah. Yeah, because, I'm, and, and as far as the research goes, do you remember when Warren asked you, um, hey, why did you decide to come up with this? And yeah. you said, well, I was having this and such problem and yeah, I searched, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. you start with those, with those searches. And one of my favorite right. SEO tools is typing a question into Google, scrolling down to people also ask. Oh, and right. I think oh, that yeah. those exact phrases as H2's header yeah. on either my website really? copy. Yes. Yeah. Either my website copy or and or within my three to five hundred word blog post. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. That's the way people are typing. That's in. genius. Google is telling you. I know. Thank you. That's <laughs> the way Google is telling you that I came up with that on accident because I was having writer's block. And I'm yeah. like, oh, what if I do this? And it just has been <laughs> working for me ever since. Yeah. I've been doing this for me and my it clients. Since 27, 2015. Right. And every time and you click on a question, it adds more questions. It's brilliant. Yeah. And that's a good way of doing keyword research. Cool. It's not even keywords anymore. It's yeah. phrases. Yeah. Especially with like Warren talks to Alexa all the time. No, I don't. You know? And we talk about accessibility. We're like, hey, Alexa, you know, what's, what movie is playing? Hey, Alexa, is there an app for this? Or hey, Google or yeah. hey, Siri, yeah. right? And, and even yeah. people who aren't um, blind are listening to their text messages in their ears because yeah. Siri is talking to them all day long or Google or Alexa. Yeah. So um, there's a, 
the searches are more conversational and you can right. put in that exact phrase and then answer it with your own jargon. So that way- That's you're really cool. Your keyword in there, your keyword that you want to rank yeah. for, but also you're using the colloquial language. Right. You know, what people are doing. Right. Because, you know, we do talk about pantries, but, you know, we also talk about cabinets. Right. My food is in my cabinet. My food is in my pantry. Or just in the I fridge. Have, we have a zombie fridge. fridge. Yeah, and we don't call it refrigerator. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? Yep. Yep. Oh my Me. gosh. Um, this is such a great conversation, right? Yeah. I'm like so excited. Do you have an email address or do I have your email address? Uh, I don't think so. Well, do DM it. Don't put it on I'll, the I'll DM it. Go ahead. Yeah, I'll, I'll DM it. DM it because I'm going to send you um, an SEO textbook. Uh, awesome. There's over a thousand pages, so make some space in your reading for it. It's in German. Too. We, we, we'll do. We'll do. Uh, Excellent. That's cool. Maybe we can um, jump back on after you've read um, some of the book and uh, we can do a public test and uh, <laughs> see, see if I remember stuff and see yeah. if you remember stuff. That'd be kind of cool. Well, we definitely want you back on after yeah, sure. the launch. Oh, definitely. This has been very cool. It would be oh, I'm so excited for you. I've, oh my gosh. To be I 26. Have... This I have one. Such a great I, idea. I have one last task for the both of you. Okay. You know, I've got a slogan for Chipmunk, but only in German. I need an English slogan for Chipmunk. Okay. Ooh, send it to us. The, the, the German slogan is "Hamstern war gestern, hol dir Chipmunk." <laughs> yeah, that's because cool. that it has. It, it, okay, it has, hello. It ha I don't. My English <laughs> yeah. is my German isn't that good. I, I'll, I, I, I'll come to that in a minute, but it has a history. Like, uh, the app was originally to be named Hamster, yeah. not Chipmunk. And, uh, but there is already an app called Hamster, H-M-S-T-R. And they're like, in the next city, like, in the next city, like 15 kilometers away from here. And they just called me and said, please take down the name or we yeah. have to sue you. And I was like, I did the even launch, so let's do a rebrand. And uh, we just then came up with Chipmunk because Chipmunks also like, okay. you know, in, in Germany, it's to hamster. Like if you yeah. like hoard a lot of food and stuff, you know how they put stuff in their cheeks and that's hamstern in Germany. And so like to make a little play out of the old name, we just went for hamstern war gestern, so like, I don't know, hamstering isn't a term in English, so hamstering was yesterday, like like piling food was yesterday, get Hamster chipmunk. <laughs> I, and, and I have no idea hoarding. How, hoarding. how to, hoarding. Yeah, but that's not, you know. Nothing to do the, with the, chipmunks. The, yeah, right, that's, that's the thing. It's like two animals in German. Like right. the verb is an animal, so I don't know. Hoarding was yesterday, get chipmunk isn't as catchy. No. In English, no. as as Hamza no, like and hold your chipmunk yes in German. I like, like was yesterday. Groundhog is today. I mean, not groundhog. <laughs> chipmunk. I, I, think I have too might many. Need a few more minutes on this. <laughs> yeah, 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 no. yeah. No, but like, okay, cool. so you because um, squirrels do that too. They uh, right. most animals that hibernate hoard. You know. Yeah. So, but it, it doesn't have to be an animal. It can be no, no, no. Uh, shopping lists were yesterday. Yeah, chipmunk, chipmunk is today. But this yeah. works better in English because I know when I was, you know, growing up, and you know, something you'd hear from your mother, it's like, where are you squirreling away your oh, your snacks? You're hoarding to squirrel something away is is it, has is, the same is it actually is it actually after. commonly used? Yeah. Is swirling actually speakers. commonly used? Yes. Because I, I, I've I talked to my coworker and his girlfriend is from America and he yeah. said, no, it's not a common term. Well, but I trust sure. you more on this well, now. Well, <laughs> do, do, do a search. Yeah, right. You're right. And besides, uh, just like in Germany, in America, there are regional differences. Yeah, probably. probably. No, there are. 
in, so uh, some people yeah, are going to say yeah. squirrel it away. Yeah, but... Google to squirrel away, and that's all you find is to hoard, hide, or reserve something for future yeah. use. There's videos. It's it's definitely in English. Uh, Probably so... older people, though. Like, we're older than you by a lot. Older people. But that's like, not a problem. I'm 48, you're 58, and he's 26. <laughs> so it's also an older term. Yeah, probably. Yeah, so that's part but, of the But that, that shouldn't be a problem. So so you say, uh, stop squirreling away, use chipmunk. Would yeah. be a good slogan. Yeah. Don't squirrel away, use chipmunk today. Don't squirrel away. Oh, that even rhymes. That's even better. That cost extra, though. The rhyme is extra. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. That oh sounds amazing. Way too fun. Way too very, fun. Very, very too much fun. Um, it was I'm amazing. Down south, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm gonna maybe uh, ferret you out <laughs> in English, and uh, because I'm supposed to be down there fishing somewhere, I don't know. Maybe we'll change and we'll try to catch chipmunks. <laughs> anyway, Thank Nate, you this so was much really, time, really yeah. great uh, chatting. And, um, thank you. Thank you for having me. This is going to be on YouTube, and it's all the whole transcript. And I, uh, I hope this gets people also um, uh, signing up. You. We'll put yeah. a link down there for them to sign up for updates. Amazing! Cool. <laughs> That's super cool. You have a great one. Thank you, you too, Bridget. You have a good time and uh, you. enjoy your day. Ours is just ending. Miss Bader. All right. Bis später. Bis später. Ciao. Catch Ciao. you on Twitter. Okay. <laughs>